Welcome back to Bloomberg Technology. I'm Emily Chang in San Francisco. Marketa, an online card and payment processing company, jumped as much as 21% in its $1.23 billion debut on the NASDAQ, closing above its IPO price. The trading debut following a wave of listings over the last year by fintech firms. Marketa counts Square as its largest customer, accounting for 70% of net revenue in 2020, according to SEC filings. And joining us now, founder and CEO, Jason Gardner. Jason, thanks so much for joining us. Big day for you. How are you feeling about the day? A $16 billion company at the moment. Hi, Emily. I'm feeling great. It's been a wonderful day. Thank you for having me. <laughs> So uh, talk to us about uh, what makes Marketa unique. We've seen a number of payments companies go public over the last year and, and, and just in the last few weeks, quite frankly. What sets Marketa apart? Well, we found in early 2015 is where we really found product market fit. We, we delivered infrastructure so that engineers and developers, technical product managers could build card products, you know, Visa and MasterCard card products. They could be physical plastic cards, tokenized cards to fit in the mobile wallets like Apple Pay and Google Pay or virtual cards. And it found that they, they found that it solved real problems for them at scale or allowed them to disrupt in, entire industries. In fact, DoorDash uh, uses it for their dashers. They reduce uh, fraud significantly at the point of sale. Uh, Instacart uses it for their shoppers to buy groceries, especially during the pandemic when it was a uh, uh, an essential service, and then buy now, pay later. Companies like Klarna, Sezzle, Afterpay, Affirm, uh, and we operate in 36 countries. It's been, been an incredible journey thus far. Speaking of disruptions, any plans to get into crypto? More companies are making crypto rewards cards now. It's becoming increasingly popular. We power the Coinbase card, uh, allows you to spend your, your crypto wallet at the point of sale. We also power the Coinbase equivalent ShakePay in Canada. Um, absolutely, we, we saw even today, uh, I'm sure you reported on it, uh, El Salvador uh, legitimized uh, crypto as an actual currency to spend. I think we're gonna see a, a lot more of that, but the, the payments ecosystem doesn't allow you to spend directly at the point of sale, so Marketa has stepped in powering Coinbase, powering ShakePay, I think we're gonna see more of this. Meantime, Square is your largest customer, and we heard Jack Dorsey announce at the end of the last week that Square is considering building a Bitcoin hardware wallet. Is that something that Marketa would have a part in? Square is a phenomenal customer. Their success is our success. We focus uh, on that uh, success with, with relationship, uh, with technology innovation, uh, and certainly our ability to operate it at massive scale. They are truly a shining example of modern card issuing. and. Uh, they certainly use every inch of our platform. Now, given that you do have a leg in the crypto space, you know, does that expose you? Are, are you concerned about the volatility? Do you, uh, as a company at all, face any risk there, given that, A, uh, we're seeing not just a lot of volatility, but we have yet to see regulation. And as we just heard from Senator Elizabeth Warren, uh, there's lobbying uh, for the U.S. to put a stake in the ground here. Yeah, we're, we're all talking about crypto and different forms of crypto and blockchain. It's going to get regulated. Uh, what we see today is, is we don't take risk in the volatility. We, we create the last mile so that consumers and businesses can spend crypto at the point of sale. But truly, the fact that we are all talking about it, that, that even Janet Yellen is talking about it, uh, we're going to see regulation. But as we see it, it's another form of currency. It's like a dollar or a euro or a peso or a yuan. Uh, we are just creating the ability to spend this at the point of sale. And, and we've seen where Visa and MasterCard have gotten into uh, certainly the stablecoin game with supporting USDC settlement. That's something that we're very interested in. Uh, but again, we see this as just another form of currency. Uh, it will certainly get regulated, and we would see potentially in the future it being spent at the point of sale. So how big a growth opportunity could crypto be for you, along with the other growth opportunities out there? Well, the growth opportunity is immense. Uh, $6.7 trillion of carded volume in the U.S., $30 trillion globally on cards, and then $74 trillion in what we call global money movement. We are processing only $60 billion in the U.S. Only 2% of our revenue is from outside the U.S. So we already have a tremendous opportunity within cards only. So if you think about global money movement and our ability to not only build the Marquette away, but service companies that want to get into the crypto space, 
uh, we see the opportunity is, is tremendous. Um, one thing that will never go away is the exchange of value through consumers and businesses and other forms of payment. We'll be right there uh, helping them authorize or, or decline those transactions at the point of sale with our technology. All right, uh, Jason Gardner, CEO and founder of Marketa. Thanks so much for joining us on a, a big day. Hey, Emily. Appreciate it. Okay.